Hello everybody and welcome to your next uh, C++ Lego 5 platform tutorial. To those people that have been watching my tutorial series for uh, from the beginning and stuff, I'm so sorry. I hope you guys don't hate me for taking forever to upload this, uh, but better late than never, right? So I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Uh, thanks to Dach Cole. I believe that's how you pronounce it, and Link5090, um, 5019, I believe. I believe that's it. Uh, thank you for sending me the LEGO 5 source code, because as you know, I lost my source code. And um, thank you guys for sending it back to me, so now I can continue on with this series. Um, so, uh, let me just delete this right here. Uh, we'll add this later. But uh, if we go back... If we run the code that we had right now, uh, there was a few problems with it, okay? And we're going to fix these problems in this tutorial. So if we press it, it goes to the title screen. You press the go back, and we press enter again. And look at it. It has accumulated, right? So now we have multiple new games. And we don't want that. But the problem with the, the problem is hap that's happening is in our menu managers unload content. We're not unloading the attributes of the contents that we're loaded in. We're not, uh, we're not undoing uh, the menu items. We're not doing anything like that. So the problem is that it's just stacking on on top of each other. So what we have to do is we gotta call menu items dot clear menu attributes no animation types sorry dot clear attributes dot clear contents dot clear and we gotta do a for loop for our menu images and we gotta call ale destroy bitmap on our menu images and then we can clear it And let's see if that's everything. So let's go to our menu manager dot H. So we got our attributes, contents, animation types, uh, our menu images, our menu items, and I guess our temp animation as well. Uh, so we'll just put temp animation dot clear. Okay, so we have cleared everything. So now when we run this again, And we fade out and we fade back in again notice it doesn't accumulate okay so uh, that's the way that we want to be now the top menu item supposed to be fading in and out because we set it to that fade animation but it's not working now our code is correct but the the problem is our blender is not correct I'm not sure if I made a tutorial series a tutorial on this in a Lego 5 series but What's happening is that our blender state is set to pre-multiplied alpha, but we don't want it to be pre-multiplied alpha. We want it to be uh, just um, non-pre-multiplied alpha. Uh, so right before um, our timer, we're going to say AL set blender. And the difference between the pre-multiplied and non-pre-multiplied, I don't really know. Uh, um, all that much um, it's, it's if you really want to know you guys have to research it yourself I never really um, looked that in depth into it uh, so that's up to you guys if you guys want to learn that but um, yeah so we gotta say AL set blender we do Allegro add Allegro underscore alpha Allegro underscore inverse alpha and when we run this program right now voila we got the item number uh, blinking the item like blinking in and out uh, so last thing that we got to do 
I guess is that we can't really scroll through the menu items. We don't have the menu items linked to anything yet, but we can't really scroll through the menu items. Uh, and so we're just gonna go to the menu manager. Let's go to the update, and we'll just say if input dot is key pressed and oh this takes in an event so our menu manager is going to have to take in an event so we'll just say allegro underscore event ev okay so we got to update that in our menu manager dot h as well Allegro underscore event ev that should fix it okay so we put ev then we put allegro no that's not the right thing i haven't used allegro 5 in a while so it should be allegro key and we'll say down so they press the down key then we'll say item number plus plus else if input dot is key pressed ev allegro key up item number minus minus okay so now since we updated the man menu manager there uh then where's we have to open up our title screen and we gotta add our ev in there and let us try this to see if this actually works So when we press down, it goes down to the next one. And when we go up, it scrolls uh, to the next one like we wanted to do. Now, lastly, but not least, well, there's two more things that I want to do quickly. Uh, so let's go to our menu manager and we can notice that it, it scrolls past the number of items we have. So quickly, we're just going to say if item number is less than zero, then we're going to set it equal to zero. And we're going to say else if item number is greater than uh, menu items dot size minus one then we're gonna set item number equals to menu items dot size minus one okay and at in the main function uh okay you know what we'll run this first just to test it out to see if it actually works. So we try to press up, it won't go up anymore. When we press down, it won't go down anymore, so on and so forth. Scroll to test it again. Yeah, everything goes according to the way it's supposed to go. Okay, uh, so we got that set up. And let me just check one more thing out. So if we leave it there, yeah, so the item number doesn't reset. The item number stays uh, the same how it's supposed to be. So if you want it to reset back to the top, then you can set um, item number to zero when you call many manager low content or something like that, right? It's really, it's really up to you, okay? Um, so yeah, so lastly but not least um we're gonna add in one quick thing uh we want to be able to close the window when we press the x button so we'll say that if ev dot type is equal to allegro event display close then we'll just set done equals to true so let's just test this out hopefully it works
so yeah it works the way it's supposed to so i'm gonna end the tutorial there uh we got our menu manager fully functional um i guess we'll add alignment later on and we'll add in some menu linking so we can link certain menu items at certain pages so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and don't forget to check daily for this uh at 12 p.m eastern standard time for new tutorials because there will be new tutorials coming every day from now on. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and bye.